Hello everyone and welcome back to the Green Developer channel. As you know, I'm a software developer and that means that I spend way too much time, an unhealthy amount of time probably, sitting at my computer desk. And on top of all of that, when I'm not actually programming, I'm usually shooting videos and editing them for hours on end. And that just all adds up to me sitting at my computer for way too much time. And so if I'm going to be spending that much time sitting at my computer desk, I want everything on it to feel comfortable and nice and make me productive. And so whether you want some inspiration or ideas on what you should include on your own software developer desk setup, or you just want to see mine so that you can tell me how much better yours is, or you just have questions about what I use every day and what you see in my videos, then let me give you the quick rundown of everything that I use on my desk and why it's there. Now, as always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button. It helps me tremendously. And if you want to see more content like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you're notified next time I post videos. If you have any questions and would like more in-depth reviews about anything that I talk about today, make sure to leave a comment down below so that I can either answer you directly there or make another video so I can go in more detail about whatever you have a question about. First of all, let me preface this by saying it's really nothing fancy, but maybe that can help showing you you really don't need much to have an ergonomic and nice to use desk setup you can program at for multiple hours without any issues. So let's check it out. Number one, and probably the most obvious, my computer. I'm still rocking a 2015 15-inch MacBook Pro and I say rocking it because even if it's starting to get old, that thing refuses to quit. I'm slowly starting to look towards an upgrade because it's slow at times for some very specific things like Swift UI previews and things like that. But that's honestly more of an issue with how rough Swift UI previews are rather than how slow this computer is. I'm always a bit on the fence about going for a laptop versus a dedicated desktop like an iMac or Mac mini because as a programmer, I personally feel less productive when I don't have a bigger external monitor. I can get work done like code reviews and things of that nature, but if I'm programming more complex things, the bigger screen just really seems to help me out a lot. On the flip side, having the ability to move around a bit with the laptop really helps with my motivation and keeping a good workflow throughout the day. If I can do without the bigger external monitor for a bit, I'll move around with my laptop and it seems to really hit the reset button for my concentration and allow me to keep working with good focus for a lot longer. If you're going to use a laptop with an external monitor but still want to use the laptop as a second screen or if you want to just use your laptop at a specific work desk, I can't recommend enough to buy some kind of laptop stand that elevates the laptop screen. Here's mine from Rain Design. It's pretty straightforward. It raises your laptop screen a tiny bit, but ergonomically it will do wonders to your workstation. There's plenty of fairly cheap options that look good, but Worst case scenario, just use a bunch of books. Your neck and shoulders will really thank you in the long run. Number three, like I said earlier, I can't live without having a nice and big external monitor. I'm currently using a relatively cheap BenQ 27 inch 2K monitor. The colors are garbage on it and there's no amount of color adjustments in the settings that really fixes that problem. But it doesn't matter too much for programming. What it does give is a lot of screen real estate and makes it really nice to work on the UI heavy Xcode that I'm kind of stuck with as an iOS developer. It gives plenty of options to open multiple files side by side, have a simulator always on the screen or a terminal to monitor whatever you need to monitor. It makes it easy to open documentation without having to full screen it all the time and just makes it a bit less frustrating to context switch as you're working because you can fit more on the screen. Honestly, if you're gonna splurge on anything in your desk setup besides a computer, I'd say get a nice big monitor. You'll be stuck having to buy big monitors for the rest of your life because you won't be able to go back to smaller screens, but that's just the price you'll have to pay. Now into peripherals, and let's start with my spaceship looking mouse. I've gotten so many comments and questions about it over time, and I even made a video specifically about it. If you want to check that out, I'll put a link to that video somewhere on the screen right now. I'm using the Logitech MX vertical mouse. Like the name implies, it just puts your hand in a more vertical position while you're using it. It's done wonders to my wrist that had some issues with RSI and I can barely use anything else than that at that point. If you have wrist related issues and are running out of ideas on how to fix them, you should check it out. It's a really fantastic mouse and absolutely worth the money. For my keyboard, I use an Apple Magic keyboard. That's it. It, it's a keyboard, use what you like. I've tried mechanical keyboards and I know a lot of people are super into them, but 
They just sit too high for my liking and just make my wrist hurt. The Apple keyboard is flat and super low profile and I like that. And finally, I have some standing desk legs that I used with an IKEA tabletop. I think the brand is called Vivo or Vivo. Not too expensive compared to other options and it works really well. Kind of in the same vein as what I was saying about having a laptop and the ability to just move around with it. Just popping up the desk to standing mode for a while does a really good job at resetting my focus and helping me concentrate for a bit longer while I'm working. Is it as big of a game changer as some people make it out to be? No, probably not. And I could definitely live without having a standing desk, but it's a really nice option to have. You know, you end up spending so much time at your desk as a software developer that it's just nice to give yourself options and make your setup as comfortable and as nice to use as possible. Even if it's small things, it adds up to being really worth it when you spend that much time on it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. As I said earlier, if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you're notified next time I post one. You can also leave a like, it helps me a lot. If you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment down below. I'll see you all in the next video and until then, take care.